Right, exercise 8, step 3, if you just scroll down to the bottom here, we've got an axis set up. Now, what you'll want to do is set up an XY coordinate for graphing. So you might want to go to the Insert tab and choose Table. OK, this dialog box pops up. You click on Add Table and you can just designate how many squares you want that to have. For example, we might put our X and Y axis in here. For example, when the X is minus 1, the Y is 2. OK, and we just go File and Update and Return. OK, what this does, it puts a, a table in here. You can put your XY values or you can put your, your date versus temperature, for example, if you're doing a first quadrant. OK, you'll then want to be able to graph these, these results. Okay, I'll just take that away there. Now, to graph it, if we go to the Inking tab, you've got the Mark tool. You can simply choose cross, circle or square and you can place marks on the page like this. Now to join them up, there's two tools that we can use. We can use the Bezier tool or the Polygon tool. With the Bezier tool, oops, with the Bezier tool, simply click on each point. With the Polygon tool, same thing, but when you click on the points, it simply draws a straight line. Okay, another thing you might want to do is use the rectangle tool if you're doing a bar graph, and just uh, simply drag out a rectangle and then double click on it to choose the fill color.